My name is Alessandro Desani. I'm one of the co-founders of the Quantum Biology DAO, as well as the COO of the Quantum Biology Institute. Today, I want to give you a brief overview of what the Quantum Biology DAO is, why we created it, and how we're going to accomplish our goal. Let's start with the why. First of all, we think that the science behind quantum biology is extremely cool and it could transform the way that we look at life. But it's more than that. Advancing the understanding of quantum biology could lead to a whole new lever for controlling biological processes in a cheap and non-invasive way. A large part of quantum biology and the part that we actually study here at the Quantum Biology DAO has to do with how tiny magnetic fields interact with biological processes. There's a lot of evidence that magnetic fields that are even weaker than the ones produced by your cell phone can have a large impact on life. We have also proven this here at the Quantum Biology DAO, where we have shown that even just removing the tiny magnetic field of the Earth produces accelerated aging in tadpole embryos. The only solid explanation for this has to do with quantum, in particular electron spin superpositions. For the experts out there, the idea is that the cells work in a very similar way to technological quantum sensors, like MV centers. This is what we call the quantum biology hypothesis. Now, the mechanism through which magnetic fields and biology interact is still largely a mystery. We can see what is the effect of a magnetic field, but we don't know how that effect is produced. If we gain such an understanding, we will be able to predict what magnetic field does what in which organism. This is extremely powerful because generating tiny magnetic field is very easy on an engineering standpoint. We are in this unique situation where knowledge almost immediately translates into technological application. The future that we envision is a future where we have smart clothing with coils or maybe magnets embedded and is linked to your phone and you have an app to control the magnetic field that your body experiences. In this way, you can have the magnetic field that is needed for your body to work in an optimal way. And the cool thing about it is that you can update these on your phone with the latest scientific consensus. This potentially means state-of-the-art medical devices that are cheap, accessible, and always up to date. So, to sum it up, we're doing this because advancing the quantum biology research could disrupt the current technological landscape, creating a new tidal wave of applications in virtually any technological field with a special emphasis on health and longevity. Now, we tried doing this in traditional academic institutions, but we quickly realized that those are shockingly unsuited for supporting revolutionary and interdisciplinary scientific projects. We only recently learned about decentralized science by interacting with people at BioProtocol, and we realized that this is the future of science where true scientific innovation can thrive. The ultimate goal of our science is to make people's lives better. So it only makes sense for the people to decide what science gets funded and for them to be involved in the big decisions inside of the scientific projects. This is exactly the model of a decentralized autonomous organization, aka a DAO. We're raising our capital through a public auction where people can purchase our governance token, the QBio token, which in turn gives them authority to vote on the important decision that our quantum biology DAO makes. The goal of our quantum biology DAO is to advance and popularize the field of quantum biology. We will do this initially by supporting the efforts of the Quantum Biology Institute, which has a very specific plan to demonstrate the quantum biology hypothesis. That takes time to achieve. 
So in the meantime, we plan on doing and commissioning experiments and projects that can grow the quantum biology field. Another thing that we're discussing is a way for people to self-experiment at home with weak magnetic fields and report the results to the community. I'm especially eager to make this happen because these would be true decentralized science. And again, this is just our initial plan, but everything we do will go through a community vote where token holders can vote and decide what's next. If you want to be part of this and you're watching this video before December 16th, 2024, then our community auction is still taking place and you can go to the Bio Launchpad website and place a bid for our QBio governance tokens. If you're watching this later on or you just want to be part of the community without donating, you can go to quantumbiology.community and you will receive an invite to our Discord server where we discuss science, tokens, experiments and ideas. Apart from that, if you're interested in any of this, please subscribe here on the YouTube channel, follow us on ads and all the other social media, and I will leave links down in the description. And I just want to add that we're truly looking forward to having you join our quantum biology community. And I want to remind you that it isn't just science, the future of biology is quantum.